respiratory organs of mammals are lungs and humans as mammals abide by this rule the lungs allow the animal to take in oxygen from the surrounding atmosphere a respiratory cycle consists of an inhalation followed by an exhalation followed by inhalation again this is a continuous process as a rule when we inhale we take in atmospheric oxygen and when we exhale we send out carbon dioxide from the body the volume of air in the lung varies at each stage of the respiratory cycle lung volumes are also known as respiratory volumes it refers to the volume of gas in the lungs at a given time during the respiratory cycle lung capacities are derived from a summation of different lung volumes the average lung volume or total lung capacity of an adult human male is about 6 liters of air lung volumes measurement is an integral part of a pulmonary function test these volumes tend to vary depending on the depth of respiration ethnicity gender age body composition and in certain cases respiratory diseases as well there are four lung volumes measured tidal volume inspiratory reserve volume expiratory reserve volume and residual volume and accordingly four lung capacities the inspiratory capacity total lung capacity vital capacity and functional residual capacity spirometry the measuring of breath is the most common form of pulmonary tests or pfts it measures lung function specifically the amount or the volume and or the speed or the flow of air that can be inhaled and exhaled spirometry is helpful in assessing breathing patterns that identify conditions such as asthma pulmonary fibrosis cystic fibrosis and copd it also is helpful as part of a system of health surveillance in which breathing patterns are measured over time spirometry generates pneumotracographs which are charts that plot the volume and flow of air coming in and out of the lungs from one inhalation and one exhalation the spirometry test is performed using a device called a spirometer this comes in several varieties most spirometers will record and display a graph called a spirogram the volume time curve will show the volume in liters along the y axis and time in seconds along the x axis a flow volume loop which graphically depicts the rate of air flow on the y axis and the total volume of inspired or expired air on the x axis the spirometer can be electronic or mechanical the mechanical spirometers can be made with balls or pivots or liquids there are many variations on the test The spirometer can measure the volume or the flow of air during inspiration and expiration. There can be many diseases and disorders associated with obstruction of air, but it is for the doctor to decide the prognosis and the treatment. We can perform a test, but its interpretations and prescription of treatment has to be done by a qualified medical professional. The incentive respirometer can be advised as a form of respiratory therapy too. This is done for patients after an operation involving heart or lungs. The incentive respirometer is a medical device used to help patients improve the functioning of their lungs. It is a simplified spirometer provided to patients who have had any surgery that might jeopardize the respiratory function. The incentive spirometer is also used to patients recovering from pneumonia or rib damage to help minimize the chance of fluid build up in the lungs it may be used by wind instrument players who want to improve their air flow too using the mouthpiece the patient breathes in from the device as slowly and deeply as possible then holds that breath 
for 2 to 6 seconds this provides back pressure that pops open the alveoli it has the same effect as that which occurs during yawning an indicator driven by the patient's breathing provides a gauge of how well the patient's lung or lungs are functioning by indicating the sustained inhalation vacuum generally patients are encouraged to do many repetitions in a day while measuring progress by a way of advancing the movable gauge along the central column of the devices as they move what we are using today in the lab is a three ball spirometer or a respirometer the test here is based on the principle that the patient is allowed to take a sustained maximal inspiration or smi an smi is a slow deep inspiration from functional residual capacity up to the total lung capacity it's followed by a maximum of 5 uh, to 6 seconds breath hold so this is a respirometer as you can see i am holding one and you can see the three pillars here each one has a different colored ball each of these pillars denotes how much air is being pulled in it is measured in cubic centimeters here so the first one is 300 then it goes to 900 and then 1200 cubic centimeters this is the place where the tube attaches on and this is a place to hold the um tube when it is in place now you can see the second part of this is a tube one end has a mouthpiece and the other end is an attachment to the uh, respirometer the subject is asked to assume a suitable position which is needed for relaxed breathing like sit on a chair place the device at mouth level exhale normally close your mouth around the piece of the respirator and inhale deeply try to inhale thoroughly lifting all three balls if possible a failed attempt is also shown here Hold the inspiration for as long as possible and use a stopwatch to time how long it takes. Remove the mouthpiece and then exhale. Repeat it after a gap of 30 seconds and record your observations. Record how many readings you can take within a minute. Do not try it for more than 1 minute.